Meanwhile, the member representing Adiato North and South Federal Constituency of Imo State, Ikenga Gochinyere, says sponsors of the bill for six-year single term for president and governors will represent the bill, or rather represent the bill, after due consultations. The bill also provides for rotational presidency, governorship, and for all elections to be held in one day. Mr. Gochire says the bill will only suffer a um, temporary setback on the floor of the House, saying all hope is not lost. The struggle to have um, uh, to reform our constitutional democracy to make it all inclusive and provide avenue for justice, equity, and fairness has not been lost. The decision on the floor of the House today not to allow the bill uh, for six years single term. Um, for power to rotate between North and South, and all elections to be hold, uh, hold all elections to hold in one day, not to scare third reading does not mark uh, and it does not put an end to the agitation <coughs> and hope that will realize this objective. This is a temporary setback, which does not affect the the, the campaign for all inclusive democratic process. Well, Honorable Ugochinere joins me on the news now for more updates on that development. It is reported that you were not allowed to present argument in favor of that bill. Have you been able to gather precisely why majority of your colleagues voted against it? Uh, I did not hear you. I think you projected. Uh, can you repeat it again? I'm asking if you've been able to gather why the House rejected this bill and the majority of your colleagues voted against it. Well, it's a parliamentary tradition that there must be yes or no at any given time. It's not like anything new. But the most important thing is that um, uh, it's a temporary setback. We have also this afternoon formulated our proposal again to the Constitutional Amendment Committee and we wait for the legislative timelines to reach for us to represent it again. This time around, we're going to consult uh, uh, wider, reach out to everybody and be able to take into consideration any uh, uh, misinformation or, or clearities that uh, 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 were not available to some of those who oppose the bill from uh, scaling into third reading. But all I can tell you is that um, the bill was formulated with the best interest of the country to have a democratic process that is inclusive, to have justice, equity, and fairness, and a transparent electoral process. Imagine having all elections in Nigeria in one day, the level of turnout, the level of vigilance, the level of uh, clean accreditation that will come out of it, and citizens that are going to protect the vote that they're going to cast, and the cost is going to reduce. Not to talk about power rotating between North and South, which will de-escalate political tension, bring stability and inclusive policies. And more importantly, a CCA single term, which will help people who are elected into office to have uninterrupted CCA development plan. That Honorable, will make life. if we isolate the six-year single term, this is the second time that bill is failing at the House. You think presenting it a third time would change anything? At this particular moment, the Nigerian state is suffering from multiple problems. And I think everybody has to be concerned. That is why, like I told you, we'll do more education, we'll do more consultation to understand that the present situation we are facing today is partly as a result of you know, leadership instability, leadership tension, waste in our electoral process, electoral process that are not clean, and so on and so forth. That we can de-escalate tension, we can get everybody involved, we can get the best out of it if we adopt the CCS single time and rotate power between North and South and have all these elections in one day so that we can reduce the level of uh, uh, rigging that goes with our election. So we'll continue that advocacy despite this temporary uh, setback today. Member representing the Diato North and South Federal Constituency in Imo State, Honorable Kenga Gochiri, thank you for talking to us. Thank you so much for having me.